Hi, welcome to LessonsOfTroy.com. I'm Troy Brenny-Meyer. Well, this is Dobro Basics, volume number four, and in this one you're learning your first songs on the Dobro. So they're just a few pretty easy songs, and um, I'm going about it kind of in a certain method here. We're going to be in the key of C, and if you print out this at first, the C major scale shapes tab, go ahead and print that out and set it on a stand in front of you. We're going to go over that first, and why we're going to go over that, I'll go over and show you with this different camera angle is that we're, we're going to be learning songs in a closed position so we'll be on our fifth fret position here and what's really important is is to learn your C major scale here in position and if you have my lessons how to play by ear or uh, slow and pretty dobro I go over this a lot too but all these songs are going to be coming out of this shape here out of this C major scale shape and we're going to go over it real quick and then go over some of these basic songs and, um, you know, these songs are great for technique and also to learn a simple melody. And then we're going to take that melody and I'm going to show you how to harmonize it. Harmonizing means just taking, taking one single note and being able to apply notes underneath it to, uh, so that it works over the chord um, that's being played at the time in, over the, in the song. So if you're ready, go ahead and print out your tablature, the C major scale shapes, and we'll go ahead and get going here. Okay, so there's a couple ways of thinking about the C major scale in this position. First of all, you could learn it just the straight scale, um, you know, where it's C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, and so on, all the way up to your 10th fret. And that's what I first wrote out there in measures one and two of your tablature. That's the full scale. Now, that's going to be pretty difficult for you to play um, if you're just starting off. You know, you got to have your bar tilted up. And I suggest to, uh, to maybe use a, a method with your right hand where you're alternating your thumb and index finger. Right, so that's, that's, that's definitely something to practice and to get used to. But for right now, what I want you to do is check out measures three and four of your tablature. What I've done here is I've simplified the scale to where it's just a series of slid notes in front of your bar. Here's our C chord right on our fifth fret. If we just tilt our bar up, um, it's a series of, of slides that's either two frets or one fret. So when we're on our first string here, we're sliding from five to seven. You can slide it back. But that's two frets, see? And I want you to visualize how many frets you're sliding in relation to your, your C position here on your fifth fret. So there's two frets. Then we go to our second string. We slide one fret. Okay. Now, if you're thinking about those notes, that's G to A at first, and then E to F on your second string. Okay, then on your third string, you slide two frets again, so five to seven. And then if you understand how the dobro is set up as far as the tuning goes, it's G, B, D, G, B, D. So then the, the sliding is the same. Whatever you slid the distance from your fifth fret to your seventh fret on your first string, you're going to do that same thing on your fourth string. Because this is a D, D string, and then this is a D string. Okay, and then on your fifth string, you slide one fret, and then on your sixth string, you slide two. So it's just like these three strings, and that's a lot easier to start off thinking about the scale like that. Um, e technically, it's a lot easier um, because you're not having to, you know, play a real hard scale in closed position. That can be kind of difficult, but if you think about it in front of the bar, the distance, and then now let's talk about it behind the bar there on measures seven and eight. This is, um, this is the same thing, but now we're sliding behind the bar. And there's a certain spacing that works for this too. So we're still in our C position, but the next notes in the scale, or the previous notes, let's put it, uh, behind our bar on the first string would be two frets sliding from five to three. And then on your second string, it's also two frets. 
five to three. And then on your third string, it's one fret, five to four. Same thing as you go down to your next three strings. Remember, they were just like the three strings we just played. So whatever you played on your first string, we went five to three, if you check that out in your tab. Then on your fourth string here, that's also five to three, two frets. And then on your fifth string, five to three. And then on your uh, sixth string, five to four. And then end on your root note there. So check out that, that uh, like I said, those C major scale shapes. And feel free to learn a, you know, the harder way where you're actually playing the full scale. And I've got it written there, measures one and two, that would be playing your whole scale with what I call in front of the bar. Where the majority of your notes are gonna be in front of your bar. Okay, and then in measure five and six, I've got the C major scale version number two, closed position behind the bar shape. So, so the same exact scale, but now we're playing, getting the notes in a different way. We're getting them behind the bar. So if you combine the in front of the bar and the behind the bar, and then the, the just the simple sliding up to the next note of the scale or the previous note of the scale, and you start practicing your closed position scale this way, um, it'll really ingrain these, sh these scale shapes in your head. So when we're learning these, even these basic songs that we're starting off with, you can see how they fit within the major scale. Now, why is this important? Well, when you're playing the dobro, um, what's really nice is to get a closed position down real well, whether, whatever key you're in, but we're going to focus on the key of C. And... Um, once you get this closed position and you want to switch keys, it's just a simple matter of taking your entire scale shape, everything that you've learned on this fifth fret, and sliding it to whatever, or putting, starting it on whatever chord uh, fits with the key that you're in. So say if we wanted, we're in the key of C now, if we wanted the key of D, we'd move C, C sharp, D, and we just go to our D chord. So as long as you know your chords and your chord names, once you learn these, these scale shapes and these positions here, switching keys is just as simple as just moving it to the chord of the key that you want or the position of the chord of the key you want. So real important, get those, get those chords memorized and get those scale shapes memorized. Well, that being said, let's jump into these songs now and um, you know we'll work on our technique and always be applying these C major scale shapes to to these songs to understand where we're sliding from and to within the uh, within the scale. Okay, let's get going now. <laughs> 